Hello friends, welcome to your very own channel Sony Sings of It. In this video, we are going to talk about newly added topic of your IGCC physics that is space physics. Here, I will show you the syllabus for space physics and we will see some very important sample questions which will be useful for your multiple choice examination. This is the syllabus, you can go through it. This syllabus is applicable for the students who have opted core as well as extended. And this is your first sample question. The diagram represents the position of earth, the sun and the moon at different times of moon cycle. Which diagram represents the position of the moon when a full moon is seen from the earth? And you can go through all the four options and the correct answer is answer A. In this question, which statement is correct? And you can go through all the four options and the correct statement is B that is the sun contains most of the mass of the solar system. Here the sun emits electromagnetic radiation. The graph shows the energy emitted per second for a range of different wavelengths. Which row gives the types of radiation found in each region? And the correct answer is option C. In this question, a distant star explodes as a supernova. Which statement is not correct? And if you, you can see all the four options and the correct answer is option A that is the exploding supernova forms a planetary nebula which is not correct. In this question, distant galaxies are moving away from the earth at very high speeds. Graph P and graph Q show how the speeds of these distant galaxies changes as their distance from the earth increases. So we have to do that in which row are the statements about the Hubble constant and about the age of the universe is correct and the correct option is option B. In this question, which row correctly describes the nature of Mars and the nature of Saturn? And the correct option is option C, that is Mars is rocky whereas Saturn is gaseous. Here, which type of force keeps the planet, planets in orbit around the sun? And the correct answer is answer C, that is gravitational force which is responsible for planets position around the sun. Here, which distance is the largest and you can go through all the four options and the correct answer is answer D that is the distance between the sun and the next nearest star that is Proxima Centauri. So friends, thanks for watching. I hope this video will be helpful for you to watch your multiple choice examination and kindly like, share and subscribe to your very own channel. Sony Sync Physics. Thank you. Thanks for watching.